We're here in the Gel Eastern at the Under-17 uh, World Championship Training Camp, USA Basketball, Colorado Springs. Um, now, Joe, how is uh, Colorado Springs treating you? Not your first time here. Um, it's treating me well. Um, I'm glad to be back um, up and running, full, healthy, um, playing against other talented players. And it's, it's been a great experience. No matter if I make the team or not, it's been a great experience. I learned a lot from the coaching staff and just competing other, against other talented players. How has it been different this time around as opposed to in the past? This time, I'm actually playing for a spot. Um, Last time, last couple of rounds, um, the the last time the, for the U16, I was hurt, um, so I didn't get to try out. But I came to the mini camps. It was only one mini camp I was fully healthy for, and this one I was actually fully healthy for. So this time I'm competing for a spot on the U17 uh, to travel to Spain, and I'm excited to see what's going, uh, see what's next. For people that are watching this and that might not know too much about you, what can you tell us about your background? Um, I like poetry. Uh, I write poems. Uh, I just love to write. Um, I've been playing basketball since I was three. Um, uh, I'm just, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I like to talk a lot. Um, I'm very talkative, and I like to just enjoy my time wherever I am. Um, what about as a basketball player, what, what kind of player are you? Um, I'm a very versatile player. Um, college recruit me as a guard, um, but being a guard that can play the one, two, and three, um, as I hopefully continue to grow, um, I'm just going to de develop all aspects of my game, such as post up little guards, um, get quicker so I can uh, go past bigger or smaller guards. Um, just being as versatile as possible, getting my teammates involved, that's one of the main things that college recruit me for is my IQ. Um, and I'm going to continue to just develop at all, all, all aspects of my game. How would you rate yourself as an outside shooter right now? Um, probably a little below average. Um, that's one thing I'm continuing to work on. Um, that's one of the main things I'm going to be in the gym daily uh, this summer, just shooting a lot of shots, getting a lot of reps up um, so I can come back to the next high school season uh, a, a way better shooter than I was before and now. Um, but that's one of the main focuses I've been um, training and uh, working hard for. Is it a matter of changing your mechanics? What, what's going to go into the, becoming a better jump shooter? Um, really not. We got, we got, last time I was shooting, I shot with like kind of two hands. So they got me, when I broke my foot, they got me to shoot with more one hand and my guy hand on the side of the ball. It's just um, getting the repetitions up and um, uh, just having that the same shot every time because sometimes it changes, sometimes it's different. So I have to just continue to shoot the ball and um, just continue to get reps up. And I'm going to get thousands of reps uh, over the course of the summer. And just uh, it's uh, just just focusing and having the same rhythm, having the same form, elbow, and those little things like that will affect and make your shot better. Any goals that you have for yourself for your basketball career? Um, Making the USA team, of course, um, becoming a McDonald's All-American, um, try to get Gatorade Player of the Year, but just going into college, just going into college and get the opportunity to play as a freshman. That's one of the main things I'm really looking for. Even if I don't get those other three or four things, uh, I just want to come in and just work and just get better any way I possibly can um, when college hits. Great stuff, man. Thank you so much.